Today we leaving Godzilla alone. I just wanted to show you that I reworked this booger. A buddy of mine sent me that grate for it. So it's going to be the perfect rib slab cooker. But what we're going to do is use the little baby guy over here. Because we're just doing a little bit. There are just two of us tonight. So I'm going to give this camera to Cheryl. And there go the chicken with the Bubba dust. And I ain't telling y'all what's in my Bubba dust. Forget about it. <laughs> so I'm going to give her this. And we're going to put this chicken secret. on. We're going to get it brown. And then we're going to put the rest of our stuff on. After we start this. Smells so good. That's because it's bubba dusty. And that is just boneless thighs. And then we got a bunch of legs because evidently the COVID virus has eat up all the chicken quarters. There are no more chicken quarters. Which of course is typical because we want it or I wanted yep, it. Yep, I couldn't quarters. find them anywhere. So we're going to brown that stuff off, and then uh, we'll get back at you guys in a little bit. Yeah, I've done got everything all made up in here. We got these little sweet peppers we're going to cook. Baked potatoes with butter and Everglades. Corn on the cob. And she's going to make some of them, uh, what you making, red lobster biscuits? Mm -hmm. Biscuits. She's gonna make some of them red lobster biscuits and then cutting up some snack stuff. Just touching base for a second. We got this thing smoking up some beautiful stuff. We got our chicken up on that top rack right now. I'm gonna try and do this one handed as best I can. But we're gonna take a little bit of this bubba juice. And we're going to put it on this stuff. And I'll do this throughout. Not a lot on each on every time because you want it to soak in, not just wash off. So we put a little bit here. A little bit here. Just like that. Just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. So it doesn't just all just drip off and get wasted. You want it to soak into that stuff. We just turned these over a minute ago. We're going to turn them again. And then shortly we're going to move them over. And we're going to move our chicken down to the bottom. And just use the heat from the smoke to finish this stuff off. This is not easy to do with one hand. And I got a little tiny piece of chicken over there for Cheryl. But we're going to keep that coal. We'll keep adding coals to it here and there. And then near the end we'll put them peppers on right over the heat. Get them boogers going. And we're just going to brown them just a bit, just blacken them just a little bit right on top of the coals. And we'll be ready to eat, but not for a while. So we'll be back at y'all in a bit. Okay guys, so we're going to go out here and see what's going on with the grill. We're going to sneak up on Dino here. You come a spying, babe. Ground's wet. <laughs> well, where's your shoe? Go get your shoes. Go get your shoes. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious, girl. Good. 
Look at this. Look at this. Well, I hate to do that. Don't you move. 60 years old. Look at that. There's some booty. There's some Boston butt to put on the barbecue. Babe. Well, I, what? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. That's what I said. Uh, What's your shirt say? Air of pot. What? Air of Boston. Okay, whatever. That's a name brand. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah, with the program. Let's get back with the food. Uh, Y'all, she just come out just a second too late, but I just put some fresh coals on the grill. Um, or on the coals down there, shook them off, moved the grill up here and shook everything off. Juiced everything up a little bit. And how you do that is, like I showed you earlier, just take a little tiny bit and put it on so it soaks in. You don't want it to waste and you don't want it to drip off. So what we got going on here is our chicken. It's looking good. Stuff is almost done. I am going to hand the camera to Cheryl. Oh, there she go again. Look at that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We should be cooking that. I ain't had your face on nothing. Here, take this. I'm going to do a salute to everybody. Salute. We'll start these here. We'll start these little pepper guys up here in just a minute. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We're going to start there. I'm going to have a salute. <laughs> We're going to start them in a minute, and she's going to make some cheese biscuits in the house. We ain't going to do that out here. And uh, then we're going to eat. So I'm not going to show ready. you the eat part. No, because it ain't pretty. But we're going to let this go a little while longer. I'm going to let this stuff on the top smoke and move everything over. And we'll show you when we get the peppers on the grill. What you doing in here, girl? Making them their biscuits. Making them biscuits. Yep, red lobster biscuits, cheese biscuits. She, ooh, she made red lobster cheese drop biscuit. Look at that! Oh my goodness! So while I'm a cooking outside, she's a cooking inside. You know what the shame of this is? Hmm. This is a COVID party, and it's just the two of us. I would go over this way and show her, but she'll hit me. She don't want me to show her, even though her shirt says Aeropostale something. I don't even know what that means. All righty, guys, I'm going back outside. My cocktail is out there, and so is my chicken. So we'll be back at you in a bit. Hey, doll. Huh? What's up? We're going to do some peppers now. Chicken. Peppers chicken is up. Yeah. Corn. There you go. Look, at we've been smoking. We've been stacking the coals over here every once in a while. No need to put any kind of wood or nothing. You can do all the smoking you want to do with your charcoal. Look at that beautiful smoked chicken over here. Now, I already lowered the grill a little bit. We're going to put our peppers on the grill real quick. And then we're going to be eating. I love those. Those are so good. We're going to be eating. Look at them little red guys. Ooh, and these are them little sweet peppers. You can get them at Walmart. Or you can get them at Ingles. Get them at Walmart if you can. They're a lot cheaper. No offense, Ingles, but, you know, no. hey, it's the truth. It's the truth. The truth. Is that your three? The, no, not three. Free. I meant to say free. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say free. I know what you meant to I say. I haven't even had a glass of wine yet. That's well, terrible. Well, that's, you're, done, you're trying to keep up with me on shots, and you just can't do that. Yeah, oh, shots I can you do. Can't, you can, no, you can't. You can't do it. All righty. So there's our stuff. Our corn is done. Our Everglades. And even though we are cooking here in North Carolina on May 9th at 52 degrees outside, 52 degrees, let me tell y'all. Yeah, let me tell y'all. We it's did, freezing. you know, I mean, we are, we are born and bred Florida Indians. Florida, and I'm sorry about that, but we are that, but we've been here for like 30 Florida, years, Florida 20 years. Yeah, we, we've been here a long time <laughs> yeah. in North Carolina. So we've, We've kind of blended the two, but I got to tell you, there is butter and Everglades seasoning right here on these potatoes. 
because of which I undone. Look, and you will you will never you're... take the swamp rat out of me. <laughs> I don't care if I live in these mountains till I'm dead. Yeah, but you didn't butter them. You just wrapped them up. Well, I, had, I when you went to she, the store. Yeah, I, I wrapped them up and then she unwrapped them <laughs> and put butter and Everglades on. Them. But anyway, we're gonna do our peppers. There's our final grill shot right there. Uh, the next shot you see will be in the house on our plates on our plates ready to go yummy. so yummy, we'll yum. see y'all in just a minute alrighty guys here we are we got some smoked chicken thighs and legs because we couldn't get leg quarters because of the covid and we got our roasted corn and taters and we got our Cheryl's red lobster cheese biscuits Drop biscuits over there, and we got our grilled peppers, and we got our bacon fat green beans. Looks like a meal fit for a king. So we are fixing to build our plates and have us some barbecue North Carolina style with a little touch of FLA in there. And that's how you know I'm old, because I say FLA. It's only FL anymore. So we'll... See you all the next time we decide to cook something. Have a good one, everybody, and happy Mother's Day, everybody.